So as we're in the winter months, newborn babies, and especially those under the age of 12, are prone to all sorts of cold and viral infections. And as a parent or your first time mom or dad, it is important to know how to manage them. And one of the most common viral infections affecting babies is known as bronchiolitis. And this is one of the common reasons for admissions to hospital. Bronchiolitis is a common viral infection of the lower respiratory tracts that affects babies under the age of 12 and is more common between the age of two and eight months. It tends to be more common in the winter months between November to March. Now the virus is spread mainly by inhaling little droplets from coughing or sneezing by a child who is already infected. And these little droplets contain viruses that can cause the infection. It can also be spread by your baby touching a toy or an object that has the droplet and then touching their mouth or nose. Now bronchioles are little tiny airways or branches that leads to the lungs and these little tiny airways become swollen as a result of these droplets. Hence the name bronchiolitis which means inflammation of the bronchioles. This can lead to reduced amount of oxygen in the lungs and can make breathing difficult for babies. Now how do I know if my child has got bronchiolitis? The early symptoms are very similar to that of a common cold and include runny or blocked nose, coughs and fever. However, suspicion of bronchiolitis should be raised if you have any of these other symptoms. Wheezing. These are musical noises heard during breathing. Breathing problems where you have fast, noisy, grunting sounds or your baby is struggling to breathe. Poor feeding. Your baby is taking less than half the bottom milk feed or they come in the breast too quickly even though they're hungry. Your baby might also be vomiting after feeding. Your baby might be distressed, lethargic irritable and uncontrolled crying. Also, one important feature to look out is reduced wet nappies, which is a sign of dehydration and is really an indication that you need to go to hospital. So what do I do if my baby's got bronchiolitis? The good news is that most cases of bronchiolitis are actually quite mild and they tend to get better around three to seven days without the need for antibiotics, as remember, they're caused by viral infections and not bacterial. However, there are a few cases that can progress to get worse and become a bacterial infection where you would need antibiotics. And therefore, you should see a doctor, especially if your child was born premature, your child is under three months, or your child might have another underlying medical condition. Now, you might make a decision of whether to call an ambulance or can you wait a few hours to see the GP? Now, this will depend on how anxious or worried the parent is and how experienced you are in dealing with a child who's got bronchiolitis. It also depends on how severe the symptoms are because a child with bronchiolitis can deteriorate quite quickly. So if you notice your baby has a high fever of 39 and above, your baby is dehydrated, your baby is wheezing, you notice flaring of the nostrils, stocking of the muscles under the ribs, grunting and labored fast breathing, it is wise to call an ambulance. For mild cases, certain home treatments can be helpful. You can give carpal or ibuprofen if your baby's temperature is too high, above 38 degrees centigrade, for instance, or your baby is distressed or crying. You can give your baby nasal or saline drops containing sodium chloride, which helps to unblock the nose and allows the mucus to drain. You can apply the saline drops 20 minutes before a feed, as a blocked nose can cause your baby to struggle with feeding, and you can also apply it before they're due to sleep. Steam inhalation also helps. So you can put your baby's cot close to you while you're having a shower or giving your baby a warm bath as the steamy environment helps with the airways and cough. Keeping the room warm and moist also helps with the airway. And if your baby is struggling to feed, keep trying to encourage small amounts of bottle milk feed or breastfeed as this helps to prevent dehydration. Try keeping your baby in a semi-upright position in the cot while the baby is asleep as well as during feeding as this also helps with the breathing. You also want to prevent others from catching the infection. So remember to cover your child's nose and mouth, especially when they sneeze or cough. Don't think your child is too cute that you cannot cover their nose or mouth. Also get rid of any used nose tissues or handkerchiefs so that another child does not touch it. Encourage good hygiene by washing your baby's hands and your hands also. And this includes anyone else that comes in contact with you or your baby you should be letting them know to wash their hands. Make sure you clean and wash objects such as toys, clothes, cutleries. And if your baby was born premature, then it is wise to avoid crowded or public places and keep them away from anyone with a cold for at least the first couple of months as they are prone to infection at this stage. Finally, it is best to keep your unwell child at home and away from others 
especially those who have a low immune system, could be grandparents or anyone having treatment such as chemo, until your baby's condition improves. Now, I hope you found this video on bronchiolitis useful. If you have any questions, please drop some comments below.